How's it going, Weight Watchers? It is week nine of our high school career, or our senior season. We will be playing Minnetonka. The five and three Royals are coming to Mankato, and we are sitting right now as the number 40 player in our recruiting class, hoping that we can do well. Plenty of great college choices available to us. Uh, I have no idea which of these we'll pick, and I'm sure that we'll get a couple more. And I think we are nearing the playoffs. I think we have 10 weeks in the regular season, and then we go into the playoffs. So uh, this should be the last episode of the regular season, which means we're getting close to actually going to college. So Minnetonka will go with tails on the toss. They'll lose. And we're going to elect to kick the ball off. So they drove down the field, and we get the ball to start the game at the two-yard line. Better believe we're using our reaction time to try to get a little bit out of danger, but we just get back to the line of scrimmage on our first carry. Minnetonka seeming pretty serious. The battle for the moniker of MHS. Who's going to get it? I don't know if it's going to be us the way that we're running right now. This is a rough drive. Is on third and eight. We will go up the middle. It doesn't look like we have it. Got most of it. I'm going to make an executive decision. We're going to go for it. Fourth and one inside the 15. What do we have? Enough for the first down. Got to keep this drive going. This seems like a good team. I know they're five and three, but we got to win this one. And, you know, sometimes you got to make some ballsy plays. First and 10 now after that big play. Here's a good run out towards the edge. Okay, we'll take it. See what we can do with this one. There we go. We actually followed the blockers for once. And look at that. It works for nine yards. Not going to expect a whole lot on this play. The draw. Yeah, not going anywhere. It's a loss of two. Man in motion here. And trying to follow the blockers as much as we can. And then lower the shoulder. I like plays like that. Where we actually get a couple of blockers to use. This drive is really stalled out quite a bit as uh, third and seven. We're running a slip screen and we fell down. Oh, that's not good. Steve gets sacked. Didn't have anywhere else to go. And we're just not going to score on the drive. Defense got back to their old selves after kind of floundering on the first drive. So good field position here. And we'll follow the blocks. Wait to turn on the Jets and then go running down the field across midfield. We get 27 yards. What do we have on this play? Again, trying to follow the blockers, but there's not a whole lot there. Thankfully, we have the speed to get towards the edge, and we got the first down. That's a 15-yard carry. Beginning of the first quarter was pretty rough for us, but we've started to get it going. Nice little adjustment. Oh, my gosh. We're just playing so cerebral right now, seeing everything that we need to hit. So we're lining up in formation to try and get this pass. We're running a slant. I'm calling for it. Uh, <laughs> Steve, I'm a little bit shorter. You can't throw it over my head. And now we've done all this work to drive down the field, and Coach is calling a slip screen for us. So third and nine. This one could actually work. We don't have the blocking, but we break the tackle. It wasn't easy, but we're able to get the first and goal. Let's see if we can score the touchdown after all that work. Second and goal, blocking a little rough, but we find the gap. We squeeze through. And we get our first touchdown of the game. I think we're around 100 yards rushing right now. We need to score more touchdowns, though. Defense did another great job, believe it or not. And we will uh, just continue to run this football. It's all too easy right now. Third and long. We'll go to the air midway through the second quarter. You're trying to pick it up. We're wide open, Steve. You just got to throw us the ball, my guy. Coach is feeling a little bit ballsy here. Fourth and 13. We get the wheel route. We're the preferred route. We'll have one man to beat. We'll see man coverage. I'm calling for it. Maybe a risk. They don't give it to us. It's a turnover on downs. Greg Ostrander caught it, but short of the line to gain. Oh my gosh. Their punter just nails us back inside the 10. First and 10. Oh, couldn't quite pull that one in on the four verts. I expect to be open on this one at second and 10. Again, backed up against our goal line for the second time this game. We are open, using a lot of the reaction time to make sure that we get the catch. And it's third and one. Need a good carry here. Nearing the end of the half, uh, we want to score a touchdown so badly. So every yard matters. 
Let's see if we can just run a, a bomb route open. Short of the line to gain, though, means the clock's going to be moving, or I guess we take our first time out. Steve hasn't had a whole lot of time in the pocket, so that's why I'm calling for these passes. Also, because I'm wide open and I want the stats. Give me the yards. Running another one of these for Verts, believe it or not. Uh, I called for it. We kind of got there, but couldn't hold on. It's third and long, and now we're going hurry up again. This is a long ways to go to try to pick this one up. See if we can run uh, an altered route to get open. I'm saying we're open. Steve fumbles the ball. It's a strip sack, and with 32 seconds, we might let uh, Minnetonka score. Seems like it's no harm, no foul, as Minnetonka's kind of struggling to move the ball there. Fourth and 13. They're punting it away. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm in control of this, so we'll see. Can we return a punt to end the half? I doubt it. Uh, one broken tackle, and then we get popped, but the half comes to a close. We're up 7 nothing, which isn't terrible. Uh, we would like to see more than that. We would like a few more yards. Thankfully, we have literally the world's best defense. We will open up this third quarter with pretty good field position. Hoping to uh, go down and score a touchdown. Man in motion. Blocking is pretty solid. We find a little gap in the line. Squeeze through it and pick up 13 yards. We're averaging six yards a carry, but Coach is deciding to pass a lot more in this game than a lot of other games. And it's not working. Second and 10, safety coming up to show pressure as we'll run the dive. I'm going to bounce that one towards the edge. And again, diving tackles, saving these guys so much. Let's have a good run here. Blocking, not the best. Go forward. We'll take six yards. We're getting our average on that carry. So that's pretty solid. 140 on the day. I know that we have a long time to go, but we only have like 23 carries at this point in the game, which for us is a very small amount. Slip screen. Following the blocks. Oh, should have cut it inside. Could have had the first down. Instead, it's fourth and one. But for the second time this game, coach says, hey, let's go for it. And I'm all for it. I like the big balls play. We're wide open over the middle. Tried to dive for the end zone. We were too short and we were short. So it's a first and a goal. Thankfully, the coach has our back this time around. And we do get a run. The ball up the middle, untouched into the end zone for our what is that, second touchdown of the game? And of course, it's the defense getting the stop. 14 to zero. Three minutes left in the third quarter. And we're losing yards. Not exactly what you want to see, but it opens us up for a longer run now. At least that's what we'll tell ourselves. Broken tackle after the stiff arm. Yeah, hey, eight yards is fine. Let's just keep on moving. Trucking down people. Maybe uh, finding those gaps we were finding earlier. That's not bad. The, I think the best part about Leo's running game is he's always falling forward, it seems. So that's incredibly useful. And again, following the blocks. We got a lot of space. Tried to lower the shoulder. Not a whole lot extra at that time, but another nine-yard pickup. Really curious if uh, Leo's a good student or not. You would think he's got a lot of head trauma with all the hits that he takes. Uh, almost a first and goal as we took that one up the middle. Would love a touchdown on this play. 11-yarder would be nice. The blocking isn't great. Oh, we dove for the end, so we fumbled it out of bounds. I know that diving in this game creates fumbles, but I just really wanted that touchdown play. Very lucky it went out of bounds, and it wasn't a touchback. Didn't go out of bounds in the end zone. Now we just get to go in for an easy little two-yarder. Third touchdown run of the game. I think this game's in the books. Nothing that these guys are able to do to, to slow us down, and they certainly aren't having a good time getting chased down from behind. <laughs> oh, somehow squeezed through that gap, and that's why there's a flag on the play, unless this is like a face mask. It's a clipping against us, so this is coming back. Our big play mostly gets erased. It is a first and seven, so we lost the yards, but we still moved forward, which is interesting. And now, well, we could just, I guess, do the, uh, you know, kind of a similar move. Only 10 yards that time. A good play here could put us over the 200-yard mark for rushing on the day, but not a whole lot of room. Okay, finally bounced it out to the edge, and we will now be over 210 rushing yards. 
And I would think that Coach will just continue to run the ball as we try to burn the clock out on this game. Doesn't help do that, though, if we're picking up seven yards of carry. I'm really curious to see where we will get ranked after this one. I got to think we went from 80 to 40 after a massive game the last time out. We're going to jump at least, uh, I mean, 35 at the minimum, depending on how many points we get. Coach is destined to make us run these slip screens. And this one's honestly looking okay, and we score. Wow, we get a slip screen to work. It's our fourth touchdown of the day, our first one receiving. And we have blown out Minnetonka High School. Seems like that's it. Coach has pulled us for the rest of the game. It looked, did they just score in garbage time? No shutout for us potentially today as, uh, well, that's a, that's a nice play of the game, but disappointing that we didn't shut him out. We move on 9-0 now on the season. And we already know we're five stars. We got 180 recruiting points on, let's see, 38 carries for 232 yards. That's a low amount of carries, still a decent amount of yards for us. Three rushing touchdowns, seven receptions, and a receiving touchdown as well. And we have gotten our scholarship offer now from Arkansas. And we have some interest from teams. Okay, Washington State kind of runs an air raid, or at least they have in the past. And then we have Virginia Tech in Virginia. I'm worried that if we go to Washington State, we won't get to run the ball a whole lot. And Virginia Tech's too good of a team. So I guess we're going to go with the Cavaliers of Virginia and potentially find ourselves at UVA. Who knows? So game one is done. We're still looking good. Oh my gosh, we jumped up from 40th to 4th. We are the 4th best player in our class. Now, I forgot to check um, before we played that last game for a new set of sliders. I just went and did it. I didn't find any good Road to Glory sets. So I'm not sure if maybe it's just because it's in, we're in high school, it's so easy. But if you know of a good uh, slider set, let me know where I can find it so that maybe we can change things. Who knows? Uh, it could just be that it's because it's high school. I haven't done a Road to Glory in a long time, so I don't remember. And I'm just now re realizing this is the first round of the playoffs. So I guess we had nine regular season games. We go 9-0. and and we have to play Cottage Grove. They're seven and two. Really hoping that we can win state here. So round one of the playoffs, Cottage Grove is going to go tails. They win the toss and we're going to start with the ball. These games are gonna matter a whole lot more for us. Trying not to lose. We'll see if one of these teams is actually gonna be competitive against us as, you know, the offense, we don't always dominate. But it's the defense that's given up, what, like maybe 10 points on the entire season? Hoping that uh, they get burned a little bit here so that we have a close one in the first round. There's a good first down. Go out towards the edge again here. Blocking didn't quite hold up. If 87 holds that for another second, we're gone. Let's go to the air on this one. See if Steve wants to throw to us today. We're wide open. Uh, probably shouldn't be juking as this guy. That's got to be bad for the knees, but it works and we get 24 yards. You know, it's not honestly all that unrealistic to just dominate. How many high school teams have a crazy amount of options, especially in Minnesota? So we are running everything, we're catching everything, and we are moving down the field. Now we just need the touchdown to finish this drive off, trying to run to the edge. Kind of interesting decision to try to outrun somebody, but it kind of works. Struggling to move the ball right now. We're going to a four vert on third and seven. They're passing it to us. Not enough for the first down fourth and inches. Because it's the playoffs, coaches decided we just need to get the points and get off the field. So we'll be kicking the field goal. And well, I guess we're getting backed up a little bit. This time... All right, we get the playoff. It's up. It's good. We take an early lead. And these guys are moving the ball pretty well. Cottage Grove with a chance to score. Could it be that we're losing for the first time in a long time? It's a long drive. First and goal. They're at the one. Maybe it's not the one. Maybe it's the five. Got that wrong. They're stepping back to pass. They got a man wide open in the corner of the end zone. They score. So Cottage Grove has taken the lead. And our defense... Gets burned on the first drive. We haven't been in this situation much this season, if at all. 
So it's going to be uh, an interesting job that we need to definitely score touchdowns in this game. It would be an all-time tragedy and the source of a lot of what-ifs for a lot of uh, people who are peaking here in high school if we you know, go undefeated in the regular season and get bumped out in the first round of the playoffs. Hopefully we can be the source, though, of some success. Whew. Fighting through the tackle, we get the first down. Man in motion, handed off to us. Up the middle. Wow, stretching out for that first down. These guys are for real. Man in motion again, trying to find the blockers. And we do that time. Should have just trucked that guy. It's such a force of habit to try to juke, but nine yards on that one. We do have to give them the ball to start the third quarter, so that could be dangerous as we just busted that dive up the middle for a big gain. Now we get a run one out of the Wildcat again, and the blocking, okay, it was there. I didn't mean to spin. We spun in. Still got positive yards. Definitely can't complain about that one on this second down. The blocking is okay. We are breaking tackles. It's enough to get us inside the 10 this time. So coach called a pass on third and one. Of course, it was incomplete because Steve's our quarterbacks. So we're settling for another field goal. Can't get into the end zone so far. Thank goodness we have a decent kicker, but we're still losing. And now let's see. Can our defense get a stop? Beautiful. Too easy. Minute and 57 before the half. It's time for the four verts. You know how coach likes to get. We're going to make him waste his timeouts because uh, he doesn't know how to run a normal hurry up. We'll probably just see passes with this time crunch. Uh, thankfully, we're able to get some first downs. We're going to go hurry up. Can we burn them on the seam? Four verts, a minute and 42 and a half. We're not open. The blitz gets to Steve. Yikes. Well, we're passing here. I don't think we're in field goal range, so we need something. We call for the ball, and look at that. The route running spectacular. 20-yard reception keeps the drive alive. First and 10, they're bringing it. Looks like another blitz. No, they're getting weird with it. I don't know why we're passing me the ball. The clock's moving. Coach finally took the second timeout. Minute to go. Not in field goal range still. Steve, did he get that one up? Oh, it's intercepted just outside the end zone. Oh, that's a good return as well. They might be able to extend their lead before the half now. Neither team wanted to do anything right now. It's a shame we're losing by a point because if we just can't score it again in this game, it's going to be a problem. Hopefully the second half goes better for us as Steve throws up another one and it is caught and he's on the run. Broke the tackle and he's into the end zone. Craig Ostrander, 58 yards to take the lead for us with 19 seconds left in the half. So nothing happens there at halftime and we will go in to the third quarter Looking okay. And our defense and special teams did a phenomenal job. We're starting this drive at the 35-yard line, which can only mean good things. And now that we can start to run the ball again, we can flex the muscles a little bit. Strong running to get us to 100 yards on the day. See if we can follow our blocks properly on this one. If the blocks exist properly, that's a good five yards. A little bit below our average, but gives us a third and manageable. A touchdown here would be absolutely massive as we break a tackle and we get ourselves inside the 10. Big first and goal here. That play was the definition of power running, just running a guy over. And now we break another tackle and we get inside the five. Cottage Grove defense got to be getting a little bit tired now. Looking for the end zone our second time on the day. And oh, untouched. No problem getting there. Two-score lead for us now midway through the third. Well, it looked like at the beginning of this game that Cottage Grove was going to really put up a fight. They held the lead for most of the first half, basically until the last second as we break another tackle and get some stiff arm cheese across midfield. But they just can't get anything going on offense now. What do we got on this one up the middle? Just going to lower the shoulder and just truck forward. We're not doing a crazy amount in this first playoff game. Not not standing out as like the fourth best player in the recruiting class, but we're getting it done enough. I think we could be pretty content with 50 more yards and another touchdown in this game. 
Again, following the blocks, trying to bounce it to the edge. And we're getting close to the 200-yard mark. No chance to get it on this drive, though. Second and six. There we go. Run right up the middle. The blocking is beautiful. And this time, we can dive into the end zone. It's a 29-yard touchdown run, our second of the game. And we extend it to a three-score lead here in the first round of the playoffs. Cottage Groves needs to answer back here. Third and six, second and seven. They're still moving ever so slowly down the field, but it's over on the drive. They went for it on fourth down and failed to convert, so we get the ball in their territory. And if we score on this drive, it's going to be game over. As far as we're concerned, I mean, they're not going to be able to do anything. Our offense might have stalled out just like theirs did on the last drive. Third and eight, we're trying the slip screen. Calling for the ball. We got some blockers in front of us. It's not going to be enough for the first down, though. Just a little bit short. It's fourth and two. And believe it or not, Coach is going for this. Looking for the dagger against Cottage Grove. The ball's handed off. The blocking's great in front of us. There's plenty of room down the sideline we go. Inside the 15, that's a 25-yard pickup. Puts us well over the 200-yard mark on the day. Now looking for our third touchdown. So it took us a little bit to get going in this one as... Uh, oh, now we're on fire. No touchdown there. I dove again for the end zone, but just couldn't quite get there. First and goal. And we're running it again. Can we score and really put this game away? The blocking is beautiful. Not even going to press the sprint button as we walk into the end zone. Okay. We started slow, but we're really cooking now. So a last-ditch effort here for Cottage Grove. Can they do anything? No. And they punted it away as well. So there's some interesting decisions being made there. As uh, we did take a penalty. Uh, first down, running the ball. Oh, finding a gap for eight more yards. At this point now, I'm looking for 250 yards. I was going to be content with just 200, but we're doing a fantastic job moving the football right now. What do we have up the middle on the dive? The blocking is pretty solid. We just continue to follow it. And we're two yards shy of that 250-yard mark now. Although I got to say, I think that we're going to lose some yards here. The toss play typically doesn't work well for us. Yeah, there's zero blocking, but we broke a tackle. Oh my gosh, we should have been dropped for a loss of a couple. Instead, we get six on the play. Oh, the benefit of being a power running back. Those broken tackles add up to a ton of extra yards. Uh, this one's basically over. The only reason that Coach should be keeping an, us in at this point is just so that we can pad our stats. Maybe he's trying to help us get recruited somewhere. It's nice to win the first game of the playoffs by such a wide margin. Got a little hairy early, but now just, uh, you know, an easy victory at the end. And we're so close to 300 yards rushing, but Coach is calling a pass play on third and five. We're going to call for it. I'm wide open. Will he give it to us? Yep. So not getting 300 yards passing or uh, rushing, but we get some extra receiving yards there. On the pitch, can we get our next touchdown? We're looking for another one. Broken tackle and we're into the end zone. Oh my gosh. I love the power running so, so much. We decimated these guys at the end of the day. At the end of it, Talent seems to have won out. We won't play again. No more carries. We actually had a solid amount this game. We get the win. We move on from the first round of the playoffs. Some incredible big plays for us as we uh, probably going to get a lot more recruiting points. So we end the game. 44 carries, 284 yards, and four rushing touchdowns. And we also had 100 receiving yards. So just shy of 400 all-purpose yards in the game 215 recruiting points that's a lot all right well we get that scholarship offer by virginia honestly every team wants us and they have a right to uh texas tech texas tcu the big 12s come knocking specifically the state of texas texas tech not going to be running an offense that makes sense for us texas too good so we're going to go with the horn frogs they're the worst team here you know, we don't want it easy. TCU's got some cool uniforms in this revamp mod as well. And, you know, maybe their offense will fit us a little bit better. I'm not sure. Anyways, we move up to... Uh, I don't know. We're just the best player in the country now? It's not It's not saying 
where we're at, which is fine. Um, oh my gosh. We have to play a 9-0 St. Clouds in round two, so... Another team undefeated in the regular season. Not going to be an easy win for us. But we are definitely not worried about it. That's going to have to be for next episode, though. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to see more of this series or maybe the, the uh, Coastal Carolina Teal Boys one, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. And while you're down there subscribing, if you head to the description, you'll find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. We do occasional NCAA stuff on there, but a lot of other sports games and a few other weird gaming stuff happens, but it's always a, a blast there. There's also links to my Twitter and our community Discord. And of course, as always, there's a link to the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. That being said, thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Weight Watchers. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.